ClearCom Technologies demonstrating the programming procedures for Saab dealerships for programming in the new Saab pod keys, the emergency pods to replace the fobs. And here we will show you just a couple of, of the pod keys. One, the one in the middle is a prototype and you can actually see the circuit board inside with all of its electronics and the rest of them will just be these dark gray fobs. And now we're going to start with the programming. So we're going to go from the splash screen. We are going to hit enter. We are going to go to diagnostics. We will go down and select the year. We will select our model. We are going to go all the way to the bottom to all. Uh, we are going to go to the bottom and add and remove. We will go down to add keys and it warns us that we need to get security access which we have already done to shorten this video. So we hit enter and it's going to tell us to turn the key on. So we're going to turn it on with an existing working key. It says to turn it to the locked position. Okay, remove the ignition key. Insert a valid key so we will put it back in and not turn it on, just insert it. Hit the OK button. Okay, one key successfully programmed, which means it has added the original key back in. We're going to tell it yes, we want to program another. We will remove the key. We will place the second fob into the ignition and hit OK. And in a second it should tell us that there are two keys programmed. There we are, two keys successfully programmed. We're going to tell it yes, we want to program another. We will remove the second key and now we are going to insert our pod key and we will insert that in and hit OK. Three keys successfully programmed. Do you wish to program another? I will hit no. It says remove the ignition key. So there we are. There is the pod key or the third key that was just programmed in. Now it says to place the key in the ignition lock so we're going to put a key in. Turn it on and it's going to clear all DTCs. Turn the ignition to the locked position. All right, and we are all done. We have added the two regular fobs and we have added the one emergency pod key. And now, for the moment of truth, we are going to insert the pod key and car starts and runs and there you have it. The new pod key programmed in and the car starting. I'll even rev it up here so you can hear the car running and thank you for watching.